Alright, hi guys, I'm here to talk to you guys about the 2008 sports drama Forever Strong. Forever Strong is a rugby movie which takes place in Arizona and Utah. In Arizona, there is a player named Rick Payne, whose dad is the high school coach and is extremely tough on his son. His son is an all-star on the field. Um, but off the field, he struggles with his own personal demons of drinking and partying and being told that he's not good enough by his dad, who's his own coach, bringing him down all the time. Um, so all these things kind of add up, and he ends up going to a party and drinking. And when he leaves with his girlfriend, they end up getting the drunk driving crash, leaving her in critical condition. Um, so this leads to him being sent to a correctional facility in Utah. In Utah, he is not getting along with anybody, gets in a fight his first day there. Um, the warden there at the center takes notice to him when he goes out to the field and tells the foot guys who are playing football to play rugby and he completely obliterates a kid. Um, he then realizes that this kid's a star rugby player. Um, the warden then pulls some strings and brings in players from the local team, which is the Highland Rugby Team, which is a perennial powerhouse in the National High School Rugby Championships. Um, and they bring him in and he they try to convince him to come play for them. Now he's hesitant about this because that's his biggest rival in Arizona was the Highland Rugby Team. But the warden talks to him and convinces him that if he does this, then he'll be able to probably shorten his sentence. So he figures, well, it's best for me, so I might as well give it a try. He shows up there, and it's completely unlike anything he's ever done in his whole life. It's running all the time. He's, he's used to doing nothing. He's the star in Arizona. It didn't matter what he did. His dad was a coach. But anyway, he's does not get along with anybody. They're clashing. He doesn't like the style. Um, but he is a great player, so he ends up starting the first game, but the coach puts him out of position, and he doesn't like this, and it costs the team a game, but the coach realizes this is more than just winning rugby. He's trying to fix this kid. The coach looks to change things for the long scheme, not just about winning high school rugby games, which is a complete different pace from what happened to him in Arizona when his dad's a coach when all it was was about winning. So this coach here is teaching him about virtues, about life, trying to make him a better man, better person. So this actually adds up and helps him become a better man. He completely starts to change. He starts getting along with his teammates. He starts fighting with people. They come together really as a family through a lot of hardships, including the death of a teammate who he became really good friends with. But eventually they end up having a lot of success as a team and start crushing people. His dad in Arizona takes notice of this and decides that, oh, well, I can use him as a scout. He can give me all their plays, and we can win nationals with him. He can just come back and play for us for the tournament. So he goes and decides to suddenly, oh, I care a bunch about my son. He goes there and does that and comes back to, goes to Utah and gets him out of the correctional facility. Um... Rick is very unhappy about this because he wanted to finish out the season with Highland as he became their captain and everything like that. So when he gets to Arizona, he runs back into his old group of friends who he gets into an argument with because he doesn't want to sell out Highland like that and just give away the plays and stuff like that. So they call him a traitor and he ends up getting into an altercation with them and they plant some beer and drugs in his car and he ends up getting arrested. And just like when it looks like he's about to go back to jail, his girlfriend at the time actually comes back to him and she tells the cops what really happened. And what really happened is that they planted it, they started it. So he's he's able to let, be let free. And But his dad realizes finally, once they have a conversation in the prison booth, that what he had been saying is really wrong. And the way he'd been treating him was really wrong. So he just tries to make up for it, and he gives him a plane ticket to go back to Utah to go play for Highland in the regional tournaments. Um, so he does this. Rick goes back. They make a run all the way to the championship game where the players from the old his old team put a bounty on his head. He's playing against his coach. He's getting completely obliterated, but just in typical movie fashion, he's able to get up, and his dad gives him some dramatic words like, if you stay down, you'll be, you'll be just like me and injured like me. And he gets up, scores the game-winning try, you know, everything you would expect in a sports drama movie. 
So basically, I liked the movie. It was really interesting being part of the New Mexico rugby community. I know what it's like to play the game. I know it's like to have that camaraderie with each other. And the lessons rugby has taught me will help me out through life. It's not just about winning games. It's about working hard. It's about being a good person on and off the field, representing yourself and your family and your team. That's what the team in High at Highland is really preaching. They've had success all throughout the years. They've been repeat national championships over and over and over. Um, so him doing this changes him as a person, and he comes back after they win the championship as a completely changed man. And I think rugby has changed me as a person. Um, I think anybody who's played the game has changed as a person. It gives you a toughness. It gives you an outlook on life that's different from what you had before. Um, the movie itself had really good visual aspects of the game. The story was the story was pretty cliche. It had some nice twists to it, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Um, I, I enjoyed it um, probably just because I'm a rugby player, but... I think anybody who just likes sports movies or redemption movies would like this movie because just of the message it teaches you. It it wasn't really big in box offices, it's, but it caught a lot of popularity due to Netflix, and it's on Netflix where people watch it on there and they give it a try and they really like it. Um, I I think rugby should get more of an exposure through movies and stuff like this, but only time will tell on what happens there. Um, I believe that the movie had a lot of good aspects. Um, the, it really shows the good sides of rugby. There's not really much bad sides besides injuries that happen, but, you know, it's just nice to see that some people out there can be exposed to the sport through movies or whatever like that. I think that the movie itself um, would be liked by anybody who's a sports fan or anybody who plays co or coaches rugby has ever just seen the game. Um, I think they would really enjoy it. It has um, a decent soundtrack to it. Like, it's nice and motivational. The actors are pretty solid. I mean, there is those corny parts of the movie. It has, it, as it has to have as in sports drama. It's got to be dramatic. The last score has to be the most crazy thing you'll ever see. But what, what kind of sports movie would it be without that when you really think about it? it? has to have the evil villain, which is his dad at first, and then ends up being his old teammates who try to take him out of the game. Um, it also has the love aspect with the girlfriends, and he finds a new girlfriend in Utah and watches her. She watches him play. It's basically everything you'd expect if I told you, let's watch a sports movie. Um no matter what sport it was, you could have put him in hockey pads or whatever, and it would have been a very similar thing. So basically, if I had to rate it out of five stars, I'd give it a four. It it was solid in pretty much every aspect, but maybe I'm just a little bit biased as a rugby player, and I just enjoy watching rugby movies. Um, I think that you would enjoy it if you really take a time to watch it. Um, it will probably change your aspect about the sport of rugby if you don't know much about it. It doesn't really teach much about the game, but it just shows you like what kind of brotherhood and camaraderie the sport gives you as a person. And so that's about it, and I'm just going to wrap up with that. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you take an interest in rugby. Maybe you can look at it sometime.